In this video, I'm going to help you determine if these sets of examples are either numbers that are rational or irrational. And all you need to do is look at the decimal and see if the decimal stops or repeats, that would be rational. If the decimal never stops and never repeats, it would be irrational. So taking a look at these numbers down below, I'm gonna go through each of them. For the first one here, this decimal stops which would be rational. This decimal also stops, which would be rational. My next decimal doesn't stop and it doesn't have a repeating pattern. That would be irrational. Anything that can be written as a fraction, rational numbers can be written as a fraction would be rational. But if you're not sure, you can always just get the decimal for that fraction. So four divided by nine, the decimal here repeats and a repeating decimal would be rational. Okay, here's another one. The square root of 25, I think you should know what that is. But in case you don't, don't panic. Use your calculator to help you out. Find your square root button. Now for mine, I have to hit my second key because my square root is up above my x squared key. And now we'll enter in the number 25. And notice how there is no decimal at all. Well, technically there, the decimal stops. Like you could say this is the same as 5.0. There's no decimal, which would be rational. So because this is a perfect square, the square root simplifies down. Now the square root of 48, again, if you don't know right away, that's okay. Don't hesitate to put it into your calculator and the decimal will tell you. Because this decimal doesn't stop and there is not a repeating pattern, it would be irrational. Now the next one, negative 17 divided by 25. This decimal stops. So that would be rational. And zero has no decimal, which is rational. Now, if we go to the next page in your notebook, I'm gonna continue on with these six examples, but I am also going to label them based on the table that we had from the front page. So within rational, the subgroups of integers, whole and natural, or irrational. Now, what I'm gonna do off on this side of my paper is give myself a reminder. My real numbers have two categories. Rational and irrational. Within rational, they start with the smallest subgroup, which is natural, then whole, which starts at zero, then integers, which includes negatives, and then your rational. And then all of those numbers are real, so don't forget to classify anything as a real number as well. Now, 18 is a natural number, which means I also has to class, have to classify it as whole and integer and rational, and that's what was done here. Don't forget to also call this a real number because, well, we know what that is. It's a real number, it's 18. You could have like $18 in your pocket. Now this number, the decimal stops, so it would be considered rational. It would also be considered real. Now, because there is a decimal, I cannot classify it as natural because those are only whole numbers, one or bigger. Um, natural numbers. Whole numbers start at zero and go up. Integers have the negatives or zero or positive but only the fractions where the decimal stop or repeat would be just rational. Square root of 50, I'm pretty sure that's gonna have a decimal, so let's check it out. This decimal doesn't stop, it doesn't repeat, so that's gonna be irrational. It is also a real number because both rational and irrational make up real numbers. Now, negative square root of 36. This is the whole number, negative six. 
Now, like I said before, the negatives, when you have a negative, we're in the group of integers. Integers are also a subgroup of rationals. Because this is negative, it cannot be whole, it cannot be natural. So I'm gonna classify it as an integer and rational because integers is inside of rational. Or on my handy chart here, as I go from left to right, if I say it's an integer, it also has to be rational and it also has to be real. The number zero starts with whole. Zero is a whole number, which means it is also an integer, which means it is also rational, and it is also a real. Now this decimal, it does not stop, it does not repeat, so this would be irrational which is still a part of the real number system.